Really fun story. I got this at the CMA after party last year at the WME, like rooftop after party. Whatever they had thing. a tattoo artist. They had a tattoo artist. And this is one of the flash tattoos. And okay. they had such good designs. And it was 2 a.m. And I definitely was not sober. And I said, give it to me full size. Um, and do so you now still like that. it? I love it. Because I like it. I think it's cool. It's my favorite tattoo I have. And the, the best part is that it was a decision that was made in those circumstances. Right? And yeah, also, the, the crazy part. part about this is the boots being kicked up out of the water is the same boot design on the Austin cover art. Mm. And that was so unintentional. I had no idea. Stop it. And, and then we like were zooming in on the boots. We're like, okay, this is the cover art. We're like, oh my God, it's like my tattoo. It was a crazy little wink from the universe. So. And are, were all the other ones very intentional? They yeah, look like they are. these are like for yeah. my mom and sister and my dad and my grandma that passed. Yeah. And then this is my after party one. <laughs> but, but you know, so, so all of my tattoos, they all have special meaning, right? Yeah. And for me, that's an important thing to have on my body. But I love that it became something that was a special meaning. I know, me too. Right? That's kind of a, it's it's a kind story. It's kind of like a little life lesson too. Like you can make things mean something too. Yeah. It's, for me, it's let go of your expectations. And because when you have expectations, something how, how something should be, you're yeah. not going to let it be what it could be. Yeah. I learned that every and year on my birthday. There's all kinds of numbers. And you look at all the sheets, there's like, okay, there's streaming and there's social media and mm -hmm. all this stuff. What, is, uh, do, what do the numbers mean to you and compared to what does success actually mean to you? Well, numbers is obviously a part of success because you have to like reach a certain milestone to be considered, sure. you know, but out of that success I mean I'm learning so much uh, out of these long days and these long nights and like how much it demands of you like success is really if you're happy or not and are you I'm, happy so, you look happy I'm happy I'm yeah. very happy I'm learning how to balance my personal care with like my work right now and being what three months deep in this crazy lifestyle like I'm a newbie isn't that crazy it's only been three right months now, yeah. and I'm still trying to figure out like how to mentally like stabilize myself yeah. with this stuff so what, what was that learning. what was that moment you knew Okay, this is about to get nuts. I think it was like the two week span of like getting Jimmy Kimmel. Okay. And then signing with Warner and then getting asked to play the CMT Awards and that all happening within the same week. I was just like, oh my God, this is just the beginning. And that was like a month and a half into That's it. That's got to be feel very validating <laughs> knowing that you were doing something that was fun, but didn't feel, I assume didn't feel like the right place right and moving in transitioning i'm talking genre wise mm -hmm. or the music you're making that's going to be very validating that you're like something inside me told me that this was not right yeah and then oh yeah that was true yeah I'm right. i really followed my gut on that one because i like fired my management fired my label really round zero when what I is that conversation how do you fire somebody like that do you have to go through somebody else or you're like hey no i called him and i was like this what? is just not working i mean it was so obvious that like there was no movement yeah. it was like this weird like, we were not helping each other at this certain point. And I think what needed to happen is I need to figure out my gut. And Good. I was relying on so many different opinions to, like, guide my music. And that's why I just stripped everything. We're restarting. I'm going with what I, I want. And what happens now, my album is exactly what I wanted out of my music. That's fantastic. And now we're here. So listen and to your gut, here. guys. You're freaking here. We're freaking here. I love that.